This is Sophie. Today, Sophie has had a very long day as it has been very busy at work. To help her relax, Sophie has decided to have a nice long bath and disconnect her Minimed 670G pump from her body so that she is more comfortable. Whenever Sophie has to disconnect her pump, for example, when she bathes, showers, or participates in any sport or heavy exercise, she must manually suspend insulin delivery. This is important because the pump needs to keep track of how much insulin it has delivered to Sophie's body so that it knows how much auto basal to give her when she reconnects it. To manually suspend insulin delivery, Sophie takes the following steps. She presses on the menu button, scrolls down to and selects suspend delivery, then confirms her choice by selecting yes. Now the pump will display a delivery suspended confirmation message. Now that she's had a long bath, Sophie is feeling much better. She needs to resume her insulin delivery by reconnecting her pump and resuming auto mode. To do this, Sophie presses on the menu button, scrolls down to and selects resume delivery, then confirms her choice by selecting yes. The pump will display a delivery resumed confirmation message. And when Sophie returns to the home screen, the blue smart guard shield with her sensor glucose value will be visible again. The following day, Sophie awakens to find she has a cold. Because of this, she may exit auto mode due to persistent hyperglycemia. Sophie remembers that when she is ill, her insulin needs may increase, and autobasal may or may not be able to cover the elevated needs during this time. On this occasion, Sophie decides to exit auto mode to manually manage her insulin dose during sickness. For the other days she has been sick, she has been able to stay in auto mode. To exit auto mode, Sophie must press the menu button, scroll down to and select options, Scroll down to and select Smart Guard. Select Auto Mode to enter the Auto Mode Options screen. And finally, select Auto Mode to turn it off. Sophie selects Save before she exits so that her pump remembers her decision. Kelly also told Sophie that when she uses Manual Mode, she must remember to activate the Smart Guard Suspend Before Low feature to protect herself from hyperglycemia. Sophie must confirm this alert by pressing OK. This feature means that SmartGuard will track the glucose value and will suspend any insulin delivery if a hyperglycemic event is predicted to happen within the next 30 minutes. To turn on the SmartGuard Suspend Before Low feature, Sophie must press Options, then SmartGuard, then Low Setup. Now, Sophie can access the SmartGuard Features menu and enter her required settings. Two days pass and thankfully, Sophie feels much better. Her insulin needs are back to normal, and she feels it's time to restart auto mode. To do this, Sophie must press the menu button, scroll down to and select options, then select Smart Guard, followed by auto mode to enter the auto mode screen. Once in, Sophie selects auto mode to activate it and then saves before she exits. Sophie can also activate auto mode SG alerts as well. It's fairly common that when auto mode is turned on, a BG will be required. Once she has entered a BG, Sophie knows that auto mode should start and she can carry on.